all I want to do. And I don't want, I don't really want to go into, let me, let me show you this, do this real quick here though. So the vertical distance, here's the micro analytics, the vertical distance and the in process, in process. That is in, that is your whip limit. That's your work in progress. That's how much work you have in process at any one moment in time in, in, the, in the effort. If you go horizontally over time, that number is how long it takes you to complete your work. That is your mean time to completion or your time to completion, uh, your cycle time. It's like your cycle time. That's your cycle time. Cycle time in process, right? So we're just talking in process because your real cycle time is the date you come up with the story to the point where it's actually accepted and done. That's your overall cycle time. But this is your cycle time for in process, okay? So every time you get a story, let's say it takes you one day or do a task, it takes you one day to get completed. So I'm like, because I'm going from one to two, maybe it takes you one and a half days, right? The wider the band tells you the longer time it takes you to get stuff done. The idea is you want this band to be narrow as possible so work is getting done. So with that, so I gave you the ideals, like this little narrow band, and this is controlled by your whip, right? You maybe, and we'll talk about whip where we only do like um, one or two things in process at a time. So I got this. Here's what I'll see sometimes with some teams. The whip, gets higher and then it comes over and then it goes up and sometimes you'll get this comes up like that and this is where you grabbed a bunch of stories so or a bunch of tasks you know and you'll get this effect that's not a very nice flow that's like a waterfall kind of thing going on right so you'll see that and and that just tells you they Someone got stuff done and they grabbed a bunch of stories at a time or a bunch of things in process. But you know what? Look at this. See how this whip is here? It's like a day. Now this stuff, hopefully, hopefully stuff will get done. But you can have stuff that could be in process for like five days. You know? And that's what you want to tell your people. Just be mindful. And you want to show them what's beautiful about this graph is it tracks everything from minute one to the end. You don't have to do anything. You just show the graph because it would be very hard to manually plot this thing. This is why I like some of the computer systems. And I like using counts or maybe points versus hours because hours depends on everybody updating how many hours they worked. But from the QNF flow diagram from a count or point perspective, this is relatively easy and pretty accurate in the system because of whether or not they close out a story. I mean, if they're not closing work, in the system you got other problems and a lot of teams do and we'll talk about how to help fix that out a little bit but you know you just look for the shape am i getting a lot of waterfalls like this one is right am i getting a lot of waterfall like reverse waterfalls on here or is it or is it pretty 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 standard and pretty narrow one of the things you also watch out for i've seen this with i've had people the whole thing the whole thing and I'll be honest with you, when the whole thing goes in process, this accepted thing does not go like that. This accepted thing goes like this, and then it goes like that, and then it goes like that. So if they want everything in process, this is all the in process, right? Like that. If you see that happen, what's going to happen? The whole work is going to take forever to get done, and you're not going to get any feedback until the very end, right? You know. So just to warn you, when you see it, and this is what you want to show them, if they're not getting stuff done, pull out this cumulative flow diagram, like the CFT, right? Show, take a look at it. If, you, if, you're, if your team is not getting stuff in to get accepted at re a regular interval throughout the sprint, double check this cumulative flow diagram. And I put this in my dashboards, my master dashboards for my teams, which I guess I should go through. Um, and see if you're getting that. That's one thing. We're gonna hit the cumulative flow diagram a few times, but I just wanna share that from a metric perspective and a scrum master perspective and a team perspective, just to see why this might be one a graphic that you can use to show your team that they're not getting work 
accepted or processed through because they're in process area is so big, right? Everything's in process, everything's scattered, everything's getting in pro there's no there's no limited work in progress type activities. So anyway, that I wanted to share with you. I want to say happy scrumming. Enjoy your weekend. Hope you go out and do some fun stuff today.